Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are explaining different kinds of malware in depth because I made a semi in depth video sometime last week and people were suggesting that I make a longer version and explain it better. So here we are. We will start off with the definition of malware. Okay. Malware. Malicious software, malicious code scripts, files, or programs that aim to deceive, manipulate, or spy on the target user without their knowledge. Malware comes in different forms and not limited to worms, trojan horses, viruses, keyloggers, and scareware. Another way to define malware is to know that malware is any software that compromises confidentiality, integrity, and availability of your computers. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. <laughs> um, here are different features and types now. Pay attention. The stuff that's highlighted is going to be your vocabulary. Keep that in mind. Okay, we've got first type, infectious. Viruses and worms, concealment. Trojan horses, logic bombs, and root kits. Malware for stealing information. Spyware, keyloggers, screen scrapers. And then malware for profit. Dialers, scarewares, ransomware. Malware as platform for other attackers. Botnets and backdoors are also known as trapdoors. Many malwares have characteristics of multiple types. Did you get that? Did you get that? If not, we're going to get over it. Okay. Infectious. First one we have is worms and computer viruses. Worms are able to self-replicate without the need for human interactions. Worms are... They're very powerful. So basically, if you download an application with a worm in it, if your phone is connected to Wi-Fi, the worm has, it's, it's able to hack into your Wi-Fi, basically, and then get into any device that connects to that Wi-Fi. So that's why when I do my videos, I make sure to not be connected to Wi-Fi. So that's, that's no bueno. Mm-mm, not good. Um, a computer virus requires a human to spread, usually hidden and embedded with an application or other software. There we go. Boom. Got the first two down. Concealments. First one is a Trojan horse. Software that appears to function. Oop, I. Oops. Software that appears to perform a desirable function for the user prior to run or install, but perhaps in addition to the expected function, steals information or harms the system. User tricked into executing Trojan horse. Expects and sees overt and expected behavior. Uh, covertly perform malicious acts without user's authorization. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We get it. Kaylee. What is an example of a Trojan horse? Basically, let's say you want Minecraft for free. You go to the trusty old internet and you're like, oh my gosh, Minecraft for free, APK download. Hell yeah, I want to invest in that. So you download that and it seems to be going just fine. Little did you know, there are viruses on it and it did not tell you. So it's basically something, it's telling you that it's something when it's really not. There's that. Okay. Next, we have logic bombs. Embedded in some legitimate program, explode or perform malicious activities when certain conditions are met. So basically, it's similar to a Trojan horse, except it's just a little bit more powerful and does a lot more behind the scenes. Okay, what is a rootkit and how does it work? A rootkit is unknowingly installed on a device. Attackers use the rootkit to modify and bypass user permissions and security. Once the attacker... Bro, I cannot speak. Once the attacker has access, they may use the rootkit to steal information, spread malware, or infect other devices on the network. Yeah, pretty simple. Kind of sad, but you know. <sighs> Next category, information stealers. First one is spyware. Spyware is a software that aids in gathering information about a person or organization without their knowledge and that may send such information to another entity without the consumer's consent or that assert, asserts, asserts, you didn't hear that, asserts control over a computer without the consumer's knowledge. In short, application that send information from your computer to the creator of the spyware without your attention. Yeah, so no bueno. Spyware in the name. Spy on you. Stealing your information. No bueno. Next one. Um, Keylogger. Keylogger is a malicious computer program that records everything you type on the keyboard and learns the keystroke pattern, including words, characters, symbols, and send all of the recorded details to malicious hackers. Not awesome. 
Next one, screen scraper. A screen scraper is a form of malware capable of taking screenshots or gathering data from the visible desktop to send them back to its controller. Let's let's put this into perspective here. Let's say you're on a, a no-no website, uh, maybe uh, an adult website, and you were watching something that's no bueno, and then let's say you had a key, wait, no, not keylogger, screen scraper, right? Well, they just recorded you doing your business to what you were watching, and they can send it to a malicious hacker and have that footage released and hold you... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on chat. I'm cooking. Let me think. They can take that footage of you doing, doing, doing the no-no, doing the nasty, and they will threaten to release it, but you have to pay them money in order for them not to release that footage. Took a while to get out, but you get the point. Okay, next one. Um, malware for profit. Next category. Booyah. Up next, we have dialers. How do dialers work? I don't know, Kaylee. Why don't you tell me? I, I, I know that's what you were saying. I know that's what you were saying. Anyways, okay. Um, a spyware dialer is a malicious program that is installed on a computer and tries to use the dialing features to call other numbers, often running up expensive phone bills for the victim. A dialer is unlike other types of spyware, though it is sometimes included with free software type downloads. So, Here's a scenario for you. You are calling Verizon. Hey, my phone bill is like $300 over, like, and I didn't do that. What gives? And they're like, oh, it looks like you've been making all these phone calls and you've been run up, running up your phone bill. And you're like, oh, no, no, that wasn't me. And they're like, oh, well, that's too bad. I have your money. Ha 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 ha. Loser. Loser. Yep, that's... That's, that's basically the explanation for that one. Scareware. Um, scareware is a type of social engineering scam that uses fear to trick people into downloading malware, losing money, or handing over personal data. In the classic example, scareware alerts the victims to a virus on their device, then tries to sell the victim a fake antivirus software that does nothing or turns out to be malware. No bueno. Types of ransomware. First one. I'll pay attention. Crypto ransomware. This type of ransomware encrypts files on a computer so that the user loses access to essential files. No, not good. Locker ransomware. This type of ransomware locks victims out of their device and prevents them from using the device. No bueno. <laughs> Next category. Malware for other attackers. Botnet. A network of computers that are infected with malicious software and controlled remotely by a hacker. The hacker used the botnet to launch a DDO blah 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 attack against the website. Blah blah blah. Let's use it in a sentence. Blah 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 blah. Next, we've got backdoor cyber attack. Also known as trapdoor. A backdoor cyber attack is a type of security breach that allows an attacker to bypass normal authentication and security procedures to gain unauthorized hidden access to a computer system, network, or application. Unlike other attacks, that might exploit a temporary vulner vulnerability. A backdoor is a persistent entry point that an attacker can use repeatedly. So no bueno. Not good. Not good at all. Um, yeah. This is a little bit more in depth. I apologize in advance because I am not I'm not good at reading, nor am I good at focusing. So this was this was a lot for me. And I feel like I was talking really fast, so I may I may have to redo this. I don't know guys. Um, that's obviously not everything. It's a huge rabbit hole and it, it goes, it has a lot more parts to it, but that, that is the main type of malware that I see and the main type of malware that's typically prominent when people do download malicious applications. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this, let me know. And as always, I love you guys. Like and subscribe. Bye. Mwah, 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 mwah.